All right, uh, I'm going to go ahead and jump right back into things, try and pump out a couple of videos for all you guys who have been waiting. I know that sounds maybe a little cocky, maybe. I know I don't have a huge fan base yet, but I'm working on it. And to any of you who has listened, listened to any of my videos yet, rather listened to any of my um, audio pieces, since I don't have video yet, I encourage you to comment, um, subscribe to my channel, whatever. Just let me know that I got people listening out there to me. And, you know, I'm more likely to make more. Okay. So I received a request from Rivroll to do a video about the value of 1,000 yard rushers. Uh, and I definitely agree with what he had to say. <clears throat> For some reason... Uh, maybe it has something to do with going from three digits to four digits, but people think that a thousand yard season for a running back is um, still kind of like the over under for a great back. Uh, well, let's do some math here. Let's say you <coughs> a running black back plays a full sixteen game season without getting hurt. A thousand yards would be sixty two and a half yards a game. Now is now what do you think of that? I mean, that doesn't exactly impress me. If you had a running back that got exactly, let's just say, sixty two and a half yards every game, nobody would care about him. Um, okay, let's break it down a little more. Okay, let's say a running back who takes the full load for his team gets about uh three hundred carries, let's say. If he got 300 carries in a season and got 1,000 yards, that's 3.33 infinity 3 um, yards per carry, which is actually downright bad in the league this day, in today's NFL. <clears throat> um, and, you know, running backs can get more carries than that. If you want to say, like, 350, that's, um, you know, 2.8. And even if you go down to, say, 250, which is extremely optimistic for a workload um, toting featured running back in the league today, that's still only four yards a carry. That's not great at all. That's actually just above average, especially in today's league when you've got the elite rushers taking, like, five yards a carry or something. So, yeah, it's all about the standards. A thousand yards used to be all right. Um... You know, I'm not exactly sure why I can't explain how it came to the standards keep rising and rising, but <clears throat> um, these days it's just not acceptable unless you've got a like a tandem and maybe you're the starting running back, but you split carries pretty much right down the seam with the backup, like what they do in Denver quite often. If you get a thousand yards in a system like that. That's one thing, but most players don't do that. So, what does constitute elite now? I'm going to go ahead and say 1,300 yards. A 1,300-yard season comes out to 81 yards a season. That that gives you room for, you know, a couple of bad games here and there. And remember, a running backs have bad games, but for every bad game they have, they're probably going to have a spike game, you know, where they break off a 90-yard touchdown run or something like that to give them a big boost to their statistics. I think 1,300 is a good um, over-under for a great running back in a season. Uh, it gives you room for error, um, and you and once again, you get to boost your stats. Um, and as for elite, I'm going for 1,600, I think. You should be able to average 100 yards per game start every game, not get hurt, and, you know, be good enough to get enough carries, you know, 20, 25 carries a game, to get 100 yards a game. And, lest we forget, you should be able to explode for 200 yards or 180 or something every now and then, and that helps as well. So, yeah, I mean, like, a guy like Willis McGahee, one of the more overrated players in the league... I mean, his yard per carry average on his career is 3.8. He rides his mouth. He rides his big mouth in his um, college career, and his, um, you know, just basically, 
he rides his no, no, notoriety to being considered a top 10 halfback, but he's completely average. So, a thousand yards just isn't cutting it anymore unless you happen to be in a tandem. If you're starting, you gotta hit like 1300 yards if you want to be considered one of those great backs. And this is true for any position. I mean, on defense, if you got double-digit sacks, like actually somewhere in between 8 and 10 sacks, you were considered a pretty great pass rusher. Now, you're getting to the realm where the great and elite pass rushers have to average more or less pretty close to a sack a game. A little less, maybe. Um, quarterbacks. It used to be considered the greatest thing ever to have a 4,000-yard season, like when Joe Namath first did it. And now you've got the elite quarterbacks breaking 4,000 yards every season. Um... You know, the standards are just going up all all around the board, and, you know, we as football fans need to get caught up, and, you know, a player like Willis McGahee getting 900, 990 yards last year in Buffalo, that's not really worth anything, and he did not deserve that huge contract in Baltimore, even though I think he'll get better behind that superior offensive line, but... Uh, you know, a thousand yards. If you stay healthy for a full 16 game season, start all 16 games, and get a majority of the car carries, <coughs> um, a thousand yards should be the bare bare minimum. If you ask me, if you get 300 carries, that's again 3.3 yards a carry. There's no reason you shouldn't be able to do that. So, you know, it's all about the standards that we set up for ourselves. Same with like wide receivers. A thousand yard season is. I guess cons I would cons a thousand yard seasons for a number one wide receiver is considered pretty pedestrian now, or it should be. I think if you want to be considered an a great receiver, you need twelve hundred elite, fourteen fifty more or less. So, um, kind of an interesting subject to talk about. I think it's kind of a moot point, but uh, though that's my two cents on it. So, um. Alright, that's about it. So, that's all I got to say. I'm out. Thank you for listening.